And I tend to skip right here behind the knee. No need to put the pressure in that area. I skip right over it and go right above, right into the hamstrings. And remember, as we're working, that it is your body weight, it's gravity that's giving this pressure. Your client needs a little less. Don't be over, knee, over your hands, right? We'll just sit back on her. You could bring your knees forward, kind of sit back some if you need. So as I'm palm walking, I'm just leaning my body side to side, exploring, seeing what's going on in her body. Always assessing, right? When I'm using my hands, I'm seeing where is she holding her tension? What's going on in here? And once I get to the top of the hamstring, right to the base of the glutes, I'm going to go ahead and put my hands to the side of her hips, bring my knees right up, right to where the two meet, right? So sure, this is nice, right? We have some pressure. Take a deep breath in and out. I like to breathe with my clients. They forget. Deep breath. For some clients, they can't handle this. This is too much. So if they can't handle this, I'll just go to the side, open the back. But for the clients that can, this is heaven. A lot of times, too, if they can't handle it, I'll sit back more on my feet versus on my knees to take some of the pressure off. Yeah. Say your client has low back and calf stuff, right? For you guys over there, you can't see, I just put my toes into her calf. Now, I'm not being crazy. I'm not leaning back on it too much because um, that might be insane. She might jump and knock down the uh -huh. <laughs> I have a client that likes to uh, glute flex when I do this. He likes to show me how strong his glutes are. Oh my god. I, yeah, they're very, he's very proud. They're very beautiful and very strong. <sighs> it's like riding a bull. It's not yeah, funny. He, he thinks it's hilarious. And so you learn real quick to like how to. <laughs> Give him a little extra kick. Exactly. <laughs> oh, she Just... won't wear that glute? Is that what's that about that? So usually your clients are a lot nicer. Mm -hmm. So as you're doing these compressions, say you start here, the QL. Top of the ASIS, compressions, right? I like to do a little cross body, deep breath in, and opening up. Deep breath in, and deep breath. Uh, with this work, you know, it's so deep, people forget to breathe, and they're just holding their breath, and that's not going to get anyone anywhere, right? So always encouraging the breath. I like to move with the breath. But I want everyone just to feel comfortable, first off, being on the table, all right? Knees in, in the hams, compressions. How's that feel? And then to get off, you know, you just come. I think whatever I used to do it, you can either walk down the table back, right? Or you can hop off the side. Just figure out what's best for you. You guys have any questions on that part? <laughs> Javier's like, I don't even know what's happening anymore. <laughs> Take me as I am.